In this portion of the video, we're going to show you how to use the 141 via the 848 drive shaft. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to mount the pipe, as you see over my left shoulder, to the tri stand, and then we're going to mount the 141 to the pipe. And by way of the 848 drive shaft and the 300 power drive, we're going to turn the 141 geared threader to create the thread. Um, everything I'm showing you here also applies to the 161 as well. So when you're using it in this fashion, you can refer to this video for using it at, as a 161 geared threader as well. Uh, be sure that your uh, tri stand and your 300 power drive are secured so that uh, they, you can avoid tipping at that point. You don't want the machine to tip over and you don't want the tri stand to tip over as well. So be sure that you have everything secured. Um, at this point, we're going to set this up and we're going to do four inch pipe so right here by way of the cam plate you pull these two knobs out and we're going to index this to the four inch side as well. Right here on the back side we're going to make sure that our work holder is completely in the open position and the clamp screw is backed out to where it's not impeding in the uh, actuation of the jaw itself. So we'll flip this up here and in the next video, we're going to show you how to mount this to the pipe. In this portion of the video, we're going to show you how to mount the 141 to the uh, pipe here. And we're going to do a stationary thread using the 848 drive bar. As per the manual, uh, it's a two-man lift. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this by the handle and slide the chucking mechanism onto the pipe first. And what we're going to do is we're going to push back on this to make sure that all the throats of the dies are engaged on the end of the pipe. And once that's said and done, I've tightened up my chuck in the back and now I'm going to tighten up the clamp screw. And there you have it. In this portion of the video, we're going to mount the 848 drive bar to the 300 and the 141. So we have our machine turned around here and what we're going to do is slide this part of it into the centering device. Make sure it comes out of the chuck in the front and in the back side here the square drive is going to go right into the square drive of the 141. And you have two set screws there, the quarter inch Allen wrench. So make sure you tighten these up. Okay, and now we're going to come to the machine, and this has a slide on it, and what you want to do is kind of center that there, and bring up your centering device, emphasis on the flats, and there you have it, we're ready to go. Okay, in this portion of the video, we have everything set up already, and what we've done is uh, we've paid attention to some detail as per the manual. Uh, first and foremost, uh, make sure that you have a clean work area, okay? Um, as far as setting the drive bar up, um, you know, and I'm talking about the 300 and the setup that we have over here with the 141, the pipe, and the 460 tri-stand, uh, make sure that uh, everything is secure, okay? You don't want the machine tipping over on you. Um, what we've done as well is before we install the drive bar, we made sure that the center line of the 300 is in line with the center line of the pipe, not of the die head, not of what appears. You don't want to straighten this out so that your drive bar is straight because it's going to rotate around that die head. Okay, so this is actually going to spin, and as it spins, it's going to rotate around the die head. So you have to make sure that you align the center line of the pipe once again with the center line of your, uh, your 300. Okay, um, once again, make sure everything is secure so that nothing tips over. And if this is correctly aligned, you shouldn't have a problem with it. Okay, now there's a lot of things that you need to watch here. So I can't stress to you enough, safety has to be of the utmost importance. So make sure that your work area is clear. Make sure that there's nobody creeping up behind you. Uh, make sure that you fastened everything if you want to go over it again. Um, also take note that the 300 is actually turned around and this is as per the manual. So instead of running it forward, we're actually going to run this in reverse. So make sure that your switch is in reverse when you're running this, okay? And it also recommends that you run it from the switch side. So I have my oiler here. 
make sure we have ample oil flow. I'm going to bring my foot switch over to about the middle of this and that way I still have access to get to the switch and I still can tend to things here as need be. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on now. My machine is plugged in and uh, here we go. Okay, so now we're at the end of our thread here, and what's going to happen is I'm going to throw the machine in forward, and what's that going to do? Well, what that's going to do, I'm sorry, is it's going to run the die head in the opposite direction, and what we're trying to do is break the chips off, okay? So all you have to do is just jog this. And then what I usually do just to make sure I'm not clogging up the dies, because I'll run that in forward a little bit. And now I will shut my machine off. Okay, so we've completed our thread. And now what's going to happen is we're going to remove the drive shaft. So my machine is off. And what I'm going to do is loosen the front chuck of the machine and loosen the centering device. And I'm not going to try and pull that out. I'm just going to leave that there like that. Okay. What I'm going to come back over here and do is loosen the square drive socket by way of the two set screws that we previously showed you so you're just undoing what you did previously and I'm going to slide this back off of the square drive and pull out my drive shaft and I'll lay this over here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the die head and I'm going to loosen the work holder on it by backing out the pinch screw and opening the jaws and once again as per the manual this is a two-man operation to take off of here so very carefully not to ruin the threads we will pull that off and set it on the ground thank you